careful of what you say. I gotta do that now. This interview here. If you want the, the garbage and you keep watching the garbage, they're gonna continue to produce programs that are garbage, that are filthy. Um, and, uh, and then individuals they watch them sometimes because they're just drawn in because they are such a mess. Not to fight, not to curse, or whatever it is that you don't want to have out there. You have to be mindful of that. Um, anything else you do, they can twist it, they can turn it, and they can make you look crazy. You're kind of part of the problem sometimes. Mm -hmm. It stings. Mm -hmm. You know, yes, yes. Good to National Action Network, we lead the charge when it comes to shutting uh, uh, sponsors down. Uh, the young lady that uh, that displayed the video, it had it started off actually with Don Imus and the Nappy Head Holes and the B Word. I mean, we were responsible. He's back on the air now, but we were responsible for shutting him down. So I understand, you know, when you attack an industry uh, mm -hmm. that people are involved in, get emotional, but to think that, that I'm just talking, bluffing is so far from the truth. You know? uh, there was a sister that spoke about uh, uh, turning it off and, and shutting down the corporate dollars. Well, we're responsible for doing just that. Uh, you know, there's a, a, a ever going battle within the uh, hip hop industry. I'm from the hip hop generation, so me and Reverend Sharp, and we, we, we go at it sometimes when it comes to uh, uh, specifics. But, you know, the overall uh, decency initiative of the uh, misogynist lyrics and things of hip hop, we're, 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 in, we're in battle uh, 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 in that war there with hip hop. So, uh, what I didn't get to finish in a nutshell was it's not talk, it's not rhetoric, you know. Our organization and soldiers throughout uh, uh, the nation are engaged on a day-to-day -day battle in shutting down those corporate sponsors in order to get things off the air, get things off, of, uh, off the silver screens. So I just didn't feel like I had a... So with me, and I don't want to be long-winded because I'm usually not, but uh, some things to me are just understood. You know, if, I, if, if I'm... If I'm discussing it, you know, or if I'm talking about some of the negative aspects of it, I'm not just talking. I'm a part of a vessel that's instrumental, actually leading the charge in today's time of cleaning up some of the things on our airways and on our television screen. So I did. I don't think my comments uh, were taken uh, fairly. One of the things that Pastor Sabrina was talking today, I would encourage them to get involved in what she's doing with this amazing uh, organization. She said that this was going to be one, one meeting of many where we'll come together and we'll decide, brainstorm, what are some of the things that we can do to make sure that the messages in the media, the messages that are portrayed, how women are portrayed in the media, how African Americans are portrayed in the media, that we can actually do something about. It. And one of the things that she said today, which I thought was so powerful, even as a younger generation, she, she dealt with the fact that when we look at Martin Luther King and a lot of people who were part of the civil rights movement, they were all young. And I think young people need to know they have a voice. They don't have to wait until they're in their 30s. They don't have to wait until they're in their 40s or 50s to make a difference. That if there's something that they're very passionate about and they have a heart for it, they can rally together other people in their community. They can write their, their legislatures. They can let them know, look, this is what we want. They can, they can do anything. And so it's just a matter of finding who's the leader in the pack. Are you the leader? Then the leader doesn't need to be silent. The, need, the leader needs to stand up and make their voice heard. There was a program and actually a reality show that did not end. I forget what entertainer, what rapper, uh, artist it was supposed to be, but it was dealing with baby mamas. You did nine different baby mamas. Exactly. Shorty Love. Okay. Shorty Love, exactly. We were getting ready to attack that viciously. And, uh, and how do we go about it again? We have over 70 chapters across the nation. Uh, it's not just about Reverend Sharpton. It's about the presidents and leaders placed throughout the nation. But once we think of something, and strategize something through Reverend Sharp, and it becomes national news, be it his nationally syndicated radio show or MSNBC. So how will we go about it? Mobilize all the chapters across the country, mobilize the communities in those uh, specific areas, 
we would go after those dollars. And there's enough political influence that our organization has that sponsors will withdraw as long as the national noise is being made. There are two things. There's going to be th those who follow a vision and there are going to be those who create the visions. And when you see yourselves and you're filled with visions, you're filled with ideas, you're filled with concepts, you're filled with insights, then you have to realize, you know what, I can rally people together because I'm a leader and you don't have to wait. The key word, you don't have to wait. You can make, start with one person, just start with people on your block, start with your friends, start with your Facebook fans. You can make a difference on Facebook. Use social media and be a leader on social media. Be a leader on social media about what you put out there, what you say. If you want to hold a meeting, they have webinars nowadays. You can do a webinar and invite young people to come in to your webinar and make a change. Create a blog and say, you know what, I'm going to create a positive blog for young people. So young people today have so much more than what we had years ago because of social media, because of technology. And I would say use technology and let the leadership begin with technology. If the true hurt stings, if you're that positive image, you ain't got nothing to worry about. You know what I'm saying? If, if, if you true, I like what Sister Mimi Faust said. You have to take the initiative to say, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to say that. And if a situation goes down, walk away from it. You know, I'm in front of the news. On a, on a weekly basis, you know, it, when I do that, you have to be careful of what you say. So, if you don't give them anything, they can't put it out. But now let's keep it real. She made one good point, you know, trying to get all of these young sisters together and get them on the same page is just hard. Well, if you can't do that, that means the show needs to be gone. If I can't control the components of the show, the show needs to be gone. Not necessarily her in general, Maybe she need to find another vessel. And not just using her, use her as an example. Mm -hmm. You know, anybody that is positive and using uh, uh, reality shows in a positive way, more power to them. But if you're seeing the, 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 the positivity turn negative, then maybe you need to think about withdrawing from that show. Maybe you need to think about this roundtable discussion that I hope happens. Mm -hmm. and. Uh, that finger might need to be pointed at the show that you're actually on. So it's, 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 it's a big decision to make. You know, do you want the fame? Do you want the glory? Do you want the attention? Do you want the economic dollars personally? And are you willing to sell your soul in a sense to do that? It's a question that I think everyone has to ask. Again, when you tell me that it's hard to get somebody on the same page, you might need to get yourself another.